the Croydon Cable Tunnel project in terms of the cable installation has involved several key aspects which have seen how we've improved the, uh, the method of doing this sort of work. Initially, the actual delivery of the drums, the movement of the drums around site using a trailer, which actually is then deployed with the cable on the back to feed the cable into the tunnel system. From that point, we have then got a mechanised cable pulling machine, then pulls the cable down the tunnel and delivers it onto the brackets in the actual tunnel environment. That is a major improvement in terms of what we've seen before as to methods of installation. The cable that we've installed here is a new design to NKT and it has a unique property in that the majority of the cable, the outer sheath, is a red colour but it has a very thin black layer on the outside. The benefit of that layer is that any minor damages that take place during installation are quickly highlighted because of the visibility of the red which enables us to identify all scratches and all marks and get them repaired properly. The length of the cable is primarily dictated by the weight and the, the sheer size of the drums. These particular ones are 1150 metres and at 400 kV that's about the biggest that we can safely transport across the London Road infrastructure. We looked at developing a bespoke cable drum trailer basically used to transport drums in and around side. And what we've done is on this drum trailer we incorporated it as a drum stand as well. So this drum trailer can pick up drums, you can pull it with a tractor into position and you can use it as a drum stand as well. And by using this we actually saved 54 crane lifts, which is not only a significant amount of money but you're reducing a lot of the hazards on site or potential hazards. The monorail beam is crucial for a number of reasons. First and foremost, it ensures that the cable is kept off the invert, so we keep the cable clean and that way we can ensure that there's no damage. Secondly, the trolley system that we use has an integral braking system. Although the cable pulling machine has emergency measures built in to prevent it from running away, should there be a break in the connection between the rail and the cable pulling machine, the trolley will come to an automatic and safe stop. One of the major benefits of using the cable pulling machine has, which we weren't particularly sure of at the start when we were planning this, was programmed. We have not only improved the safety aspect, we've actually seen quite impressive delivery rates and programme benefits from using a mechanised method of installation. With the machine we found there's plenty of capacity, even when we install this one point, almost 1 1.2 kilometre section of cable, which is essentially the longest ever been pulled in the UK or Europe, to our knowledge. The benefit of the longer cables is that you then have less joints on the system. There's a benefit in terms of system performance from reducing the number of joints that you have. The installation of joints in the confined space of a tunnel presents special challenges for an installation team. To ensure an ideal installation process setup, we built up a so-called mock-up tunnel where the team was successfully trained under realistic conditions. During this process, the detailed design was validated, risks were identified and eliminated, jointing processes optimized and the work environment tailored to the prevailing tunnel conditions. For the Croydon Tunnel project, our teams installed 24 joints under clean room conditions, plus three outer terminations and three transformer terminations. We also developed and installed a tailor-made monitoring system, enabling oil pressure, SVLs and PD to be monitored continuously. All cables and accessories were produced in one of the most modern cable production plants in the world, F2C in Cologne. The whole system was offered and delivered from NKT Cables as a turnkey system solution.